John here guys and today we're talking about the true RC blaze antenna this is the circular polarized antenna with an LED built in that makes the actual antenna element of your quadcopter glow with a variety of different colors I have a blue one on here and spoiler alert yes it's broke what broke broke your lamp Oh man, this was a nice upgrade to my DJI Racing Quad. Now, if you've seen my race vlogs, you know that we race at the night spot. And when you are racing at the night spot, to allow others to be able to see where you're on the track, having an LED on board is super convenient and it just looks cool, right guys? <laughs> So, but when you're on these race frames, you don't have a lot of room to mount those LEDs. And when I saw this come out, I was like, ooh, I have got to try one. It was a direct drop and replacement. There's a variety of connectors um, available, but this one is a UFL version to go straight into the Cadex Vista because this is a DJI racing quad. This is the Open Racer um, frame by Lamone. You've seen him on my channel. I've got a review of this coming out very soon. So I used his canopy in order to secure it. Now this is really designed more for an SMA mount, but by having a couple of zip ties, I was able to anchor it and it sits pretty well in there. So how did I crack it? Well, I did get a pretty nice crash and it was a hard enough crash where I broke this rear arm. I think what happened is the broken arm then went and cracked the side of this thing. I don't think the stock beast antenna would have broken. So now I have a $26 antenna that can't really use. Now I did race it for the rest of the day like this with the antenna element just exposed. It was fine enough for the distances of racing, but it's gonna just like be done. So I'm gonna have to swap this back to a Vista, figure out another way to put an LED on here. Now, if you're not racing or if you have a frame that does a better job of protecting the um, antenna i think this probably would not have happened on my america hd racing canopy and i think this would be pretty fine if you're racing on micros or other things where you're not going to be crashing it's probably going to be pretty fine it is somewhat of a pricey upgrade to the already expensive um, vista unit but you can go to certain places like fpv cycle and buy the nebula pro without the antenna that saves you some dollars then adding something like this onto it is not going to be too bad at all. The implementation of this is really clever. There's only one wire. How do they get away with that? Well, the UFL antenna as it snaps onto your um, video transmitter, whether you're using analog or digital, acts as the ground. So you only have a positive wire coming off of this. There is a little resistor in there that helps to get the voltage um, appropriate for this LED so it doesn't burn out. So you do have to manage that. It comes with like a little connector. You can solder to any of your five volt outputs on your flight controller. Then you can take it on and take it off. Um, I think Ferrari said he just direct soldered this directly onto a five volt. That's probably what I'm gonna do next time. I did put the little connector, but in a few crashes it would just pop loose. So I just electrical taped it on there and it was fine. Great execution on this, great implementation. If you are not gonna be crashing too hard, this is an outstanding way to be able to get LEDs on your quad that are very, very bright and beautiful. The blue one, oh, I'll show some pictures of how that looks, but I don't think this can stand up to the rigors of racing, unfortunately, so I'm gonna be switching it out, but awesome option for a lot of you other guys. I don't know if I would recommend it for like a freestyle mounting like this. This is the FPC Go. FPV cycle prototype five, you can see this sticks up right here. So in a hard crash, you would probably kill this in that type of mounting as well. But if you are not a crasher or a basher, you're probably gonna be okay. But look how sturdy the uh, stock one is. I wish they could just put an LED in here because this is some somewhat sort of semi-transparent. You would still get some glow, not as much as this, but this plastic is much, much more durable than kind of the thin, clear plastic that's on here. What do you think in the comments, guys? How are you doing LEDs? Are you doing Tiny's LEDs? Are you doing LED race wire? Are you doing some other way? Um, or are you doing an antenna like this? Really cool implementation, just not super durable, but for most people that are not gonna be crashing into gates at 90 miles an hour, 
It'll probably be fine. Thanks, guys. Not a finger!